All right, guys, today I'm going to go over my new RC8. Everybody's been asking about it, so let's talk about it. This is my new uh, RC8 made by Dean Guitars. By the time that uh, you guys are seeing this, this guitar will actually be officially released. So you can go to the store and get one today. All right, so what's the big deal, right? All right, well, this guitar, the body is mahogany. It's got a maple top. We've got some EMG 808 pickups in it. Uh, it's got a hardtail bridge, uh, some graphite, uh, graphite saddles, and the strings go through the body for extra sustain. And as you can see, it's got the awesome Xenocide graphic on the front and the back, and that makes it extra cool. And uh, 24 frets, ebony fretboard, uh, Dunlop 6000 frets, and it has all the classic features of the RC7. It's got the extra deep cutaway, extra wide, um, so that no matter how big a stretch uh, or crazy lick that you do, you can get up here and access the whole neck and fretboard. Um, it's got the, the great all access cutaway, um, sculpted down so you can get your thumb up here really high and just really play um, the entire guitar. And uh, 24 frets, it's uh, all eight in a row. I'd rather have it all in a row. I don't like the uh, mixed on both sides. It's just a personal preference of mine. Um, and it's strung high A to low E. So this is your high, high A string. So essentially you got two A strings now, two E strings, and two B strings. And everybody is always asking me about the slanted frets. What's that all about? And uh, for the most part, I see guys trying to describe it on the internet and whatnot, and they're pretty much wrong. <laughs> Uh, so basically, to demystify this, it's a multi-scale fretboard, okay? The high A side of the neck is 23.5, and the low B side of the neck is your regular scale 25.5. And why do you do this? Well, um, in order to tune a string all the way up to A and have it not break as soon as you touch it, you have to have a shorter scale length. So this side of the neck is shorter. This is the 23.5 side, and this is the regular side. So basically, the frets start at an angle this way, and then straighten up, and then go back, This squeezing this side in. You can see the nut is on an angle, and the bridge is on an angle as well to compensate for that side shorter scale, okay? So that's the basic rundown on the guitar. Um, why eight strings? Well, why not? It's very cool. Uh, I grew up listening to a lot of classical violin and piano stuff. And it just made sense for me to go one higher um, to be able to get up into that range uh, uh, because of the type of music that I was listening to. Um, and it's pretty cool uh, for multiple reasons. You can actually do more in a smaller space. For example, on a six string guitar um, to play this particular lick. Well, first of all, let me show you what you can do here in a single position on an eight string guitar. <laughs> This is just an A natural minor scale. Now on a six string guitar, this note is right here. And this note on a six string guitar is here. So to be able to play what I just played on a six string guitar, you'd have to go. And on this guitar, As you can see, that's one position versus 17 to 20 on a six string guitar. So, I don't know, figure it out. That's, that makes sense, right? <laughs> Why do more when you can do less in the same space? Makes sense to me. You can do other stuff where you start up really high. You know, and you can end on the six string like normal, but you get that extra high um, note on the 24th fret that uh, you wouldn't be able to get otherwise. And uh, you can add nice stuff to your arpeggio shapes as well.
All right, so there you have it, the introduction to the RCA.